Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD, JPY, US dollar, Japanese yen for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other bears like Euro USD, GBP USD, Gold USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of USD JPY in front of us right now and let me be very honest the chart of USD JPY is very complicated so you may face some difficulty in understanding so in the if you are a beginner if you are new trader new to trading then feel free to ask questions in the comment section i would love to answer them and at any point of time if you feel that my analysis is wrong then also please mention in the comment section i would love to learn from you so let's get started let's try to understand what is going on in the chart of usdjpy what are the complications let's try to unfold them so if you look at the overall chart of usdjpy here we can see that uh, there is no proper trend here on the market the market looks uh, like sideways market or a choppy market so the overall trend is not clear to us and if you look at the present chart of USD JPY then we can see that market is going up making higher lows here but you can see that this is not a beautiful market this is not a clean chart okay the chart is kind of messed up not a good chart to trade at all okay, so the present trend is also not very much convincing to be an upward market in the chart of USD JPY okay in the chart of USD JPY this line 109.75 109.75 is the most important line and if you have watched my other videos on usdjpy then you have heard me speaking about this line for last three four months at least because i have been constantly talking about the importance of this line because in the chart of usdjpy this is the most important line you want to know why let me take you to the weekly chart See, this is the weekly chart of USD JPY here. Let me remove the drawings and now listen to me carefully. Weekly chart, so each candle signifies one week. You can see that previously this was a level that acted as a resistance for the market. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 candles, it means more than 2 months. For more than 2 months, this was the level that acted as a resistance for the market never allowed the market to go up for more than two months but when market broke the level the same level the same level became the support for the market and still the level 109.75 is acting as a support for the market you can see that for the last couple of weeks market is facing severe selling pressure from above try to understand the market psychology here <laughs> market is facing severe selling pressure from above but somehow market is still managing to close above the level you can see that this week also market has formed a spinning top kind of a pattern previous week also market has formed a spinning top kind of a pattern previous in the previous weeks market has formed a hammer kind of patterns somehow market is managing to close above the uh, 109.75 level so just try to imagine how important how strong this level is it means that some big players are present in this level and right now they are not allowing the market to go below that level so that's why i was very much uh, so i have been talking about this level so much so now you have understood the importance of this blue line in the middle and apart from this blue line you can see that i have also drawn a trend line as the resistance because of these two touches here so this is the first touch this is the second uh, second touch so we can hope that if market goes up from here okay if market goes up from here then market may face some selling pressure at this trend line and if it faces selling pressure from the trend line you may short the market listen to me carefully as this is a trend line and this trend line is acting as a resistance for the market therefore in the future in the coming days in the coming week if you find market trading at this trend line just observe the price just see how the price is doing 
if you see that price is struggling near this trend line then you can short the market if you find market reversing from this trend line you can easily short the market and you can see that after this trend line, I have also drawn a green line here and this green line is also a temporary resistance for the market if I take you to the weekly chart then it will be easier for you to understand this trend line you can see that after three four touches this trend line has proved to be a resistance for the market so on Monday Tuesday doesn't matter whenever market will be going up when it will be facing resistance at this trend line at this trend line or this trend line doesn't matter market has got two resistances right now so if market reverses if market reverses then you will get a shorting opportunity on the USD JPY chart clear and right now you can see that market is just standing at almost at the weekly support 109.75 so market is right now almost sitting at the weekly support here and plus we also have a trend line as this support here so therefore let the market open on Monday and just see where the price goes or how the price reacts if you find market bouncing from here listen to me carefully if you find market bouncing from here on from this trend line or from this uh, blue line because we have right now double support then you can easily go for buy here so you can go for buy if market bounces Okay, listen to me carefully market should bounce then only you should go for buy do not buy right away after the market opening do not make the mistake my dear friend just wait for the market to bounce you'll get the confirmation in the form of a hammer price rejection from below or a green candle like this then only wait for uh, sorry go for a buy at this trend line or at the support level and if you go for a buy here your take profit target will be this this and my dear friends, if we go to the forex sentiment meter here, this is the forex sentiment meter, and you'll find the forex sentiment meter on my website avilashhazarika.com under forex 101 section. In the forex sentiment meter, you can see that 64% retail traders have taken short position and 35% retail traders have taken long position. And as we all know, 90% more than 90% retail traders lose money. So personally, I always prefer to take trades against the sentiment of the retail traders so from the sentiment meter there is a possibility the market will be going up okay but that also depends on the chart of DXY as well DXY uh, this is a chart of US dollar and there was a fall there was a huge fall on USD JPY because it is correlated to the chart of DXY and you can see that DXY has broken the support here and if DXY faces the same selling pressure on Monday, okay, listen to me carefully. If DXY faces the same selling pressure on Monday, then definitely USD JPY will also face the same selling pressure. But I will not recommend you to go for sale on USD JPY because, as you as you have already seen on the weekly chart, how strongly market is bouncing above the 109.75. So if market trades normally on monday if you find market bouncing from here go for a buy sell market here short the market here that's it and if you think that this market is very very complicated right now you can also avoid okay feel free to avoid if you are a new trader if you are a beginner then i will request you my dear friend do not trade on usd jpy right now please avoid you if you're a beginner because this chart is very very complicated there are other currency pairs with plenty of opportunities you can trade there why you should risk your money on a chart that you do not understand that's it bye bye take care <laughs> see you on monday again